Two other top stories this afternoon. Alan Breed, the PC men's basketball player, arrested on domestic and weapons charges back in court this morning, hoping to be granted bail. Providence Now reporter Yanni Tregalis has the details from the courtroom. Providence College men's basketball player Alan Breed making bail today. Now this about 24 hours after he was originally denied bail here at Providence District Court. Today he's granted $25,000 with surety bail and a few other terms to that bail. He must surrender his passport, any firearms, a no contact order against the victim. And also he either cannot leave the state of Rhode Island or his home state of Georgia. Now this case of course coming after his ex-girlfriend claims that he broke into her home early Saturday morning pulling a gun on her demanding her phone. Now in the days since that the defense says she started to walk back some of those allegations saying that she was heavily intoxicated at the time and doesn't exactly remember what happened. And again yesterday after he was originally denied bail the victim going to the judge here at Providence District Court speaking to him about the allegations and how she allegedly doesn't exactly remember what happened that morning and today the state withdrawing its objection to bail and breed granted that $25,000 next up for Alan Breed. He will go in front of a grand jury, but his his defense tells us that they hope he can continue to be a student at Providence College at this time. He does continue to be suspended from the men's basketball team. A big back and forth in Tiverton could come to a head tonight as a vote is expected on a controversial building proposal. Here's Casey Camps. Well, it has been quite the debate for some residents in Tiverton for the last month or so. Here's the situation. So the group Saconet Partners LLC, they requested a permit to build a crematorium off of Main Road in Tiverton. And now coming up tonight, the town is set to vote on that matter. So some residents saying the crematorium doesn't belong in town, they don't want it there, citing what would be its close proximity to bus stops and a preschool nearby. However, officials in favor of its construction say that residents have nothing to worry about in terms of any health risks related to it. Obviously, we've had a close eye on this. We will continue to watch it closely. That vote, again, in Tiverton coming up tonight. Massachusetts State Police looking for a driver involved in a deadly hit and